Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 146. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the close course section. Uh, this is where we do um, basically heats around sections of three circuits. It's all going to be um, Amalfi, Nurburgring, and Fujimi Kaido. But then we'll also have the super lap days where we do one lap of each of the tracks um, in a given class of car. So... We're going to be practicing for Jimmy Kaido in Class F cars. And then with our Class F, we'll go one around each lap. So for this entire section, I'm going to be taking one car from this side and taking it to this side. So I'll actually use the car for both championships. Just because of the fact that it is almost like practice and then the actual thing. So that's what we're going to do for this. Um, let's get on with it. We've got three stages, three heats for each one. Let's get going. All right, here we go. We're here for heat number one of I don't know how many. Um, we're going to do similar to what we did with the drag racing. I'm just going to drive. Um, and for all three heats, we're just going to go for it. Oh, I gotta heat up some um, Korean beef for dinner tonight. Again. This is just vibe, actually, to be fair. Good old drift funk while driving on Fujimi Kaido. It's quite nice, actually. But uh, this is the first time that we've driven on either of these. Come on, do some drifting. Cardo, you realise this car is front-wheel drive. That's not how drifting works. Trying to drift a front-wheel drive car is like trying to... Think of an example for this metaphor. <laughs> Fucking impossible. Power slide, that beast. See, it doesn't work. I told you. Oh, I've just realized there's only two cars on this track. When we're doing these heats. Oh, is there eight? And it, it goes down. Like, you start with eight and then you go down to four. And then two. That's sick. A set of course is difficult. To be fair. Oh, that's close. I think we still got it. Nice one. That's our first heat done. Let's get the loading screen on. And go for the next one. Circuit racing in AC is easier than drifting. Yes, definitely. I said, of course, I love the customizability. Don't get me wrong. I love the fact that people can just put in whatever cars they want. But the problem I have with modding and putting stuff in a set of courses and stuff like that is the hassle and the inconsistency. The fact that anyone can make any mod, which is awesome, but at the same time it's also the kryptonite of mod making for me because, like, oh, I can download this mod of this car 
and it looks absolutely fucking terrible. And then another car from the same brand or whatever, just another car, and the quality is amazing. Like, the lack of consistency between modded vehicles in just the lack of consistency in modding in general is the problem I have with modded stuff. Because some people will put less effort in, some people will put more effort in. Sometimes the mods are older than the newer ones, but when it comes to game development, if a game goes on for long enough, for example, Euro Truck Sim is a good one. Um, Euro Truck is actually updating one of the cities in the base game because that's been out for like 10 plus years now. So they've decided they're going to update one of the cities to be up to date with the quality of theirs one at the moment. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is very loud though. This music is very loud. This is really good, I like this. <laughs> faster, faster. Nice. That was a good one. I hate to actually turn it down, I think it's too loud. <laughs> that was brilliant. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, one map can be have a small file size and be really good quality and then one can be unrefined and fucking huge. Finally did an overtake in a set of course and so then got fishtailed and crashed. Yeah, that happens. Um, it's just practice. you got to learn how the cars handle, how they behave, how the engine behaves, like the physics engine of individual games behave. I... I'd be one to say that sim racing is probably harder than driving in real life because when it comes to real life stuff physics doesn't change at all however when it comes to racing games every single racing game the physics engine is slightly different because it's very difficult to make a physics engine that is one to one exact to real life physics so I will say if you're good at sim racing technically speaking you're probably better at driving than a real drive like my my driving instructor looked at me and was like um i, I convinced him and changed his mind on this because he was like no sim racing does not apply and i was like actually you'd be surprised because the amount of like challenges that these sim races and like these sim racing games actually have like, obviously, some of them are more... You've got to learn all sorts of different stuff. And sure, the physics, when it comes to learning actual sim racing, is not exactly the same as driving a real car. But if you can go from a different simulator, from simulator to simulator, and you can adjust very well, you would easily be able to adjust to any car on the real road um and once i explained that to him he was like mm, you have a fair point you have a fair point i'm like of course i've got a fair point i'm fucking me i'm a genius no i didn't <laughs> that would have been funny though Sixty-nine damage. Nice one. Well, my little Alpha Romeo's done a good job. Very nice. And we finished first. Awesome. I think sim racing more teaches about um, being able to adapt more. Um, 
and being able to adapt to different things. Like over, uh, yeah. So it teaches you about um, trains your reactions and stuff like that. I don't think it teaches you muscle memory though, because muscle memory is something that you just get. You do anything for an extended period of time, you'll get muscle memory. So, but yeah, when it comes to reaction times, yeah, it definitely teaches you. It teaches you to learn how to control the car. <laughs> Me just poor England. Sorry for my bad England. I sell it my wife for internet connection. <laughs> Hello, I'm 48 year old man from Somalia. Sorry, f <laughs> that's such a good one. Oh no. Do you think they deliberately did that and picked that car for this? Somebody deliberately picked this car. Came second. That's what she said. <laughs> Look at the Discord. Well, yeah, but you sent that. I'll have a look in a minute. I don't think I've seen it. No. I don't know. Let's go. Nice. My little Alpha Romeo is doing a great job here. Oh my god, look how weird the wing, the mirror looks. Oh, this is the start line actually. I recognize this spot. It's the star art line. Bidi bidi. Bidi 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 bidi. Right, let's go to the next one. What Discord photo am I looking at? You haven't sent me one. Nice. Well, not in DMs, you haven't. Ah, oh, you prick. Come on, come on. I gotta catch up. There was a bop. Anything when you're driving on this track is just awesome. Like, this is one of the most beautiful tracks, and I don't... I really hope that... The Forza devs will take their heads out of their asses and actually remaster the correct maps from the old Forza games. Like Maple Valley, hate to break it to you, but is like a 5 out of 10 compared to a lot of the other Forza maps that have been made. This one especially needs to make a return. That was close. Nice. 
now it's send. So you didn't send me one. Pleb. <laughs> a plebeian. Alright, not bad. I'll take that. That's not food, Cardo. That's dessert. That's not actual food. That's just sugar on a plate. <laughs> oh, look. This is my dinner. Donut. <laughs> yeah, I've actually done it before. I've eaten, like, donuts for breakfast. Oh, yeah. What do you want for breakfast? I want a fucking donut. <laughs> Such a nice, interesting breakfast. It's the wiggly wiggly steak part. I'm very much not a fan of this section. Like, I think it's cool. I think it's beautiful, but certain cars just don't like it. You're a pleb, mister. I walk into a room full of enemies on hardpoint and wonder why I get shot instantly. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Kodo, I, on average, was much higher on the leaderboard than you, so... Three out of the... I, th I think we did eight games. I think it's three or four of them. I was at top of the leaderboard. I think another two of them, I was ahead of you. It was one I was behind you, but I just... Controls were not working for me. <coughs> but that was my own fault for not setting them up before starting playing. You did? But that was in one of them. <laughs> Yeah. Cool, you can do math. It's still 4 out of 10. I still beat you in 6 out of 10. And got the highest on the leaderboard in 3 of the games. <laughs> so... <laughs> New kind of math. Well done. Coming up to 135 hours played in this, which is madness. Uh, I'm going to have fun tomorrow, so I've got to wake up at half seven, walk the dog. Eight o'clock, feed the dog. And start tidying the house. And I've got given myself pretty much two hours to tidy the house. Then, from 10 till 1, I have to edit. Then from 1 till 5, I'm going to stream. And then 6 till 10... I am rendering, but while those videos are rendering, I will be cooking food. Madness. Absolute madness.
So uh, I'm gonna have to get myself a, a monster energy, I believe. Let's rely on the downhill momentum to get extra speed. And the music. Very good, very good, very nice. Come on, keep it moving. There we go. Uh, I mean, Kodo has literally just bought uh, Modern Warfare 2, so I doubt he's done done it, but... Alright, heat two of three. Let's go! Ah, uh, keep it going, keep it going. Come on. Oh, the green car's on my ass. My little Alpha's doing a great job. This was the car that I was planning on buying. Like, IRL. I would have had an actual Alfa Romeo that was mine. Didn't get it in the end. Sad. Genuinely gutted. Big time. Nice. Second one done. Let's go one more. And then I've only got the last uh, point to point and then I can get my thumbnails and then feed the dub. Do 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 
Keep it moving, keep it flowing. I still can't believe we're 140 episodes into this. Like, th this is going to be mid to late February when we finish this. This entire game. Which is crazy. And Motorsport 4 will probably be due until... September, October. Next year. I'm kind of hoping not. Because I would like to get that done. So that I can move on to a Horizon game. But... Who knows? Yo, Shadow, what up? How you doing, man? Do do do. Advertisement. Advertisement. <laughs> oh Jesus! Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred percent. All right, nice. That was the second visual glitch I have seen in this game so far. Uh, I I can only assume so. Um, because he's he's done everything. Um, but I haven't played the game, so I wouldn't know. Like, I, I'm not going to ask him, have you done this? Have you done this? Have you done this? Because I, I haven't played the game. I wouldn't have ex known it existed, to be fair. Yeah. I think 100% is a very subjective opinion. It's not really opinion, it's just whatever goal you want to do, really. When you want to complete the game. Do you want to complete it by getting absolutely everything? Every car, every achievement, every whatever. I don't know. Or do you just want to complete certain parts of the game? Like for me, my 100% definition is just complete all the events. So that's why I completely skipped out on season mode. Because I don't need to do season mode if I'm just doing all the events. Because season mode just means I've got to do extra races. Um, technically, I wouldn't have to because of how Forza does season mode. But it then means that I've got an absolute ball ache to try and edit. I basically have to finish Forza Motorsport 3 in its completion. Before I'd be able to start uploading videos on it. So... It's definitely an interesting one, though. But yeah, for, for me, I'm just going to complete all the events and, yeah, put them all on YouTube. I'm hoping to get at least 1,500 videos. Wait, no. That's not the right number. What did I predict? Because 1,500 is nearly five years. That's not right. A thousand videos. We're, we're aiming for about a thousand videos. About three years worth. Um, but there is times that I'm wanting to... Sort of cut it down. Like, it, if this one series goes above a thousand videos, like, I'm, I'm going to celebrate it in a very big way. But I think it's going to go above a thousand. For every Forza game. I mean, when you think about it, Motorsport 3 and 4 is probably like a good 30 plus percent of the entire series because of how many events there are in these games. So, I don't know. Whoa.
All right, very nice. Thank you for the light, Cotto. Appreciate it, man. Let's go to the second race. Nimp, snimp, nimp, snimp, nimp, snimp, nimp, snimp, nimp, snimp. Next one. I think the way that I've actually structured this, I think I've done a pretty good job. <laughs> I'm really liking how this uh, car drives. <laughs> Is that on a Assetto Corsa? Because Assetto Corsa is a bit... It's very realistic in how the pits work, so it, it's strange. Most of the time, just to get out is to just carry on driving. Come on, come on, keep it going. Nice, nice. Oh, that was so close. Sliding around that corner there. Right, we have one more race to do. And then that is us done for today. I'll then get my thumbnails and we'll bugger off. Bugger off. <laughs> it's such a good word. I like that. It's funny. Oh, this is another one of those TikTok ones. I love some of these songs that they put in TikToks. Nice. Looking good. Oh. Master's getting close to my ass. Go away. My ass is not for you.
Holy crap. This top section is very interesting to drive, actually. I still don't understand why Forza didn't remaster this when they went from Motorsport 4 to 5. This should have been one of their, the top on their list. And the excuse of, oh, maybe they wanted more realistic tracks or anything like that, it doesn't fly with me because every single year they make a fake track. Obviously inspired by real roads, yeah, sure, but it's a fake track You and they still have Maple Valley, which is also a fake track. There goes the door, door panel. <laughs> bye bye door. Very nice, and we finished first in that. That is that uh, section of events done. Not very many bonus credits though, which is a bit of a disappointment. Oh well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.